shut the doors behind us and let's go home. I, I was about to say, I've probably already checked that bird nest a million times. It won't respawn it if you keep checking it. it they do respawn things, it just takes 30 days because I've got it on the default setting. So, we've done some normal base upgrades. We've done some horde base upgrades. I think, I mean, it's not as long of a stream as I normally do, because I normally go for about two hours. Um, my trees are growing already. Look at that for a wall of trees. I just didn't know what else to call it. What would you call it? It is a wall of trees. Um, I think we're actually going to leave it. Bye! going to leave it off there for today. Well, not right this second. We'll not be doing anything else once I get back into base. Um, did I... I planted these all the way to the end, didn't I? Yeah. The next time we come on, I think we'll be going out questing. Again, to try and get the better weapons and stuff ready for the next Horde Knight that will be coming on day 21. A ways away, yeah, but they soon come round, trust me. Oh, they soon come round. Really? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Counting with Dang Dang. I can't count. I was going to say I'm sure that's full. Huh? What? Right there. Anyway, we won't be able to see through this wall of trees for quite a while. That is going to be a shed load of wood, though. Just means we've got to leave it for a bit. Can I get through here without driving into a tree trunk? Yes. Yes, I can. I was just about to say, can I do it without driving into my ditch? Nope. No, I can't. Uh, let's take this out and pick the bike up. You know what, actually? I've got some more blocks. I could go a bit longer, actually. There was one more thing I wanted to do at this base. Uh, you can go back in there. Jailbreakers and the sugar bots can go in there as well. Because uh, you did ask about the mining, Adam. I'll show you, because I don't think you watched the stream where I started the mine. It did cause me some problems. Uh, food. I have none. Amazing. Um, have I got... Yes, vitamins. We'll wash them vitamins down with some mouldy sandwiches. It's the only food I've got, alright? I'm not being funny, just pick the blue bits out. It's fine, you can still eat it. There we go. Uh, smeltables is you and you. Buildables is you. We'll put the bars in there. I'll keep the hammer for a minute. Oh, I really don't have any cobblestone rocks. Well, that's an issue. Uh, you've made me slightly more iron. Let's just give that a few minutes worth of uh, fuel. Well, actually, that's more than that needs, so there you go. Get making me some more iron bars. We've got some more flagstone in there and a cloth finish that we set up as we went out. 265 more blocks. Hoorah. Excuse me. Uh, building, you can go in there. You can't mine in Rust, can you? Oh, yeah. Um, it's a completely different system. This is more like a Minecraft style mining system. I had to think about that one, then you threw me. Uh, the wood can go in there, because I don't need that. Um, my mine is... I really wish I'd have dug that hole straight down there, but anyhow. Yeah, here's my mine. 
I actually forgot what it looked like down here. Why have I got one random torch down here? Yeah, I've blocked these off. Because we will expand out in different directions. Let's put my miner's helmet on. Yeah, here's my mine at the minute. This is all iron, the black ore, in case you've not seen it before. I was trying to find... <sighs> I was trying to find the top of the ore deposit so I could just start digging down. I found it, but as you can see, this dude is kindly demonstrating. This comes all the way out to where my goddamn moat is. Hey, dude. <laughs> oh, no, he's in with me. <laughs> That is actually quite a cool trap. Just bat the legs out from under them. Um, yeah, no. I don't want my uh, moat be exposed to the mine. It's the exact same problem me and Brittany had. This is a problem that you have with um, digging a mine out underneath your base. It does become a bit of an issue. Red faction terraforming. Yeah, it is quite like the red faction. Apart from you do this with like a shovel and stuff, not a, uh, a rocket launcher. As I remember. Um, but what we want to do, we want to dig these bits out. Because what I'm going to do over time, and it may be something I do off camera again. Is I'm going to go all the way around. And take the front layer of these off. I probably should do it from, like, a point like that. I'm going to go all the way around the goddamn base. I'm thirsty as well as hungry now. Brilliant. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do all the way around. It's going to make it look more fortressy than I wanted it to. But we've got paint. Not Adobe paint. Adobe paint? It's MS paint. Fool. But I can dig around these blocks. That and it gets me more clay. Which you, you generally always need clay. And it does make me think I'm probably going to do all of the tops, uh, top layer of what's around the base. Just so we can have it on a nice even playing field. For now, I'm just going to block this in. But now, the moat's going to get a little bit more motified. I even dug it out in such a way that the slope is all perfect around it because I didn't want to have to keep redoing. Uh, I didn't want to have to build all the moat out. Because again, at some point, I will show you mine and Brittany's world that we've been working on. And you'll see why I don't want to do a proper full-scale moat again. I, I say I do a proper full-scale moat. I didn't do most of the work. Brittany did most of the work. And it took her absolutely ages. I worked on another project, which took just as long. You know what? I actually thought about going on No Man's Sky earlier today. It was a toss-up between doing a stream and playing No Man's Sky. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. It's because I'm getting ready to start a new... YouTube series sometime soon uh, and I need other games to play I've got a couple of ideas in mind but uh, no I nearly went on No Man's Sky I can't remember what it was like but obviously they implemented that huge patch the base build on it is so much better I have an underwater be you what I don't even think there was base I got it when it first came out, you know, when it was terrible, from what other people said. I don't know, because I've not played it since the Mega Patch. Could you base build back in the day? From the word go? Because I, I got No Man's Sky when it was like a brand new game. Because it was meant to be all singing, all dancing. And then I played it for, like, no amount of time whatsoever, and didn't like it. Ooh... I might have to go have a look into that. Because, as you know, I uh, I tend to like my survival base builder games. And my current colony building game 
the colonists. Nearly finished. And I'm still thinking about just doing bigger uploads of this series on YouTube and then doing a proper series instead of this. But I don't know how hectic it would make my schedule with work and stuff. Sub oh, Subnautica. I still mean to go back to Subnautica Sub-Zero, Below Zero, whatever the hell it's called. Because there's been updates to that as well. I'm sure there's new Leviathan in it. You know, all the time I'm talking, I really can't hear zombies running up behind me. That could be a massive issue. Uh, but no, I miss Subnautica. The uh, the YouTube series that I did on Subnautica, where I actually finished the game, that is the only time I ever ever finished Subnautica. I've built bases on it before and got quite far, but I've never finished the game. And what a cool ending it was. But no, I've got a couple of different games. Oh my god. That'd be awesome. I think I had one episode where I got attacked by the rainbow leviathan as you're going down into the lava area. And my cyclops got stuck and caught fire and I remember having to abandon ship. I tell you what, it does look like a cool uh, co-op game that I have actually got because I was going to do it on uh, YouTube, is, uh, I believe it's called Volcanoids. It's like Subnautica, but you don't go underwater, you go underground. It's just when I played it, it seemed a little bit like it needed more things to do into it at the time. In the most polite way possible, because it was actually dead fun to play, it was just a little bit clunky. But it was kind of cool in the sense that you've got to dive out the way of the volcano every now and again. I'm actually getting a lot more of this wall done than I thought I would do. To be fair, I've probably done more work on this base than the horde base. Not that it really matters, because both bases are equally important. I don't want them breaking in here and destroying all my stuff. I may build a little fence around this, and I don't mean a bar fence. I mean an actual, like, picket fence around the top. Well, not picket fence. It'll be more like railings, but... I'm actually surprised that no zombies have come for me. I'm literally just stood outside my base, nearly at midnight, mining. Well, not mining, but... You know what? That's... that's. Oop. <laughs> I'm sure you can make that jump. Yeah, we've got a decent bit of work done around that. I am debating whether or not to um, dig out the front tile of this again. The only problem is that. But it's only 1,500 health. I bet I could do that. It does make the car park on my side a bit smaller. But it's better than digging the road axe. I like where the road is at the minute. Just so I've got that two gap. Maybe. See, this is what I don't like. Although, have I got a frame block? I think if you put a frame block on top of this, it will level the ground back out. Uh, a wooden frame. Frame block. Oh, there's a torch there. Yoink. And you can go there. It gives it a lovely homely feel, doesn't it? I do like the red. I can't wait to paint more of it. Um, what was I doing? Items, frames. No. No, it doesn't. Level it back off. That's why I don't like this. So I probably will end up digging it out all around here. But then at least it's going to give me a proper walk around for this. So if I wanted, I could run around, and then I kind of don't need the bars around the top. I am going to keep them, though. That, and I want to even them out a bit more. I do want them to only be too wide. <clears throat> Alright, last thing. 
We're going to go and see if we can make some proper food. Turn my light off. Reduces visibility and hopefully the zombies can't see me as much. Oop. Just think, I've got to paint the outside of the building. And I'm going to paint all the inside of the building. It's going to all be in Dax colours. Yeah, it's going to look cool. So if that's all red there, that all needs to be red around the inside here. Ugh. That, and I want to move the farms. I do think I'm going to move them so they're right in front of the doors and spread them out and stuff like that. And shut up about being hungry. Right, the way I normally do food is you grab every ingredient known to man. You get all two bottled water that you've got. That's a bit of a problem. I've still not built a ladder to get up onto my roof, so I've got to uh, parkour my way up. And cleverly parkour without the wood. Didn't mean to do that. Um, just give me some more. Give me another three campfires. And give me that. You know what, actually? Give me that, give me that, give me that. Give me that. <laughs> Oop. Oop. And you can come out of there. The quicker you can get more than one of anything, the happier you're going to be. I've only got one beaker. Not a problem. Wait, what? I took both of them out there. Buffoon. There we go. At least I can cook food in most of these. And this is going to generate light, which may get some zombies to come for me. I can make blueberry pies? I can't, they're locked. Didn't I level up again? I leveled up again. Master Chef? Yours. I did need to put more points in that anyway. Right, this one's going to be for drinks. So it can only hold 60 anyway, so... Let's get 60 set up in there with about 8 minutes on the clock. There we go. There you go. You're going to do me... Well, murky water stacks up quite nicely. So I'm actually going to set all of these up. I really should go and connect a load more snowballs. All them can get cooked up in there. You're going to do me some red tea. Actually, no. You're going to do me some food first. Because otherwise I'm going to run out of food. Oh my god, I can do spaghetti, shepherd's pie, sham chowder and gumbo stew. No. Yeah, I can't do them yet. Right, pumpkin bread I don't need to do. Meat stew. Yes, please. That's the only boiled water I've got. That's why. Wait, what? Why is this turned on already? How many meat stew can I do? Because meat stew is quite good. I run out of ears of corn. That's fine. Blueberry pies? Yes, please. Steak and potato meals? They're not bad. I'm not even going to bother with the grilled meat. We're going to save the rest of it. And then to finish off, you can do me a few of them. Well, we've got two, about six, seven, eight minutes. We'll go nine just for the uh, for the grin of it. Beautiful. One, two, three ladders.
and a hatch. It'd be much better when I've got a wall on there. Let's see if I can get this on the right way around to start with. <laughs> Handle away from me. Doesn't work. That's better. And then they're just painted metal handles. Uh, right, food ingredients can all go back. Sure, 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 sure. I bet my farm's grown there as well. I'm not doing very well at finishing this stream off, am I? It just keeps going. There's always one more thing. That clears all that out a fair bit. Uh, crafting. Smeltables. Stone, stone. Not the sand. The clay. I thought I had 6,000 wood on me then. I was about to say, have I done that? And building goes up there. The inventory is wonderful and clean again. Really? You've gone out again? Well, we're not doing bad frying bars nowadays. Don't get me wrong, it's not brilliant either, but we're not doing bad. Nearly daytime. Yes, and I'm actually going to be playing off uh, stream about 9 o'clock tonight. And in fact, looking at the time, we're on 20 past 8 now. Um, me and on here, she comes up as Aqua X Blue. That's the person I keep referring to as Brittany. Uh, we've got our own world that Brittany hosts at the minute that we've been playing for a few weeks now on... Well, actually, when we go back on, we will be coming into day 70, and we're getting ready for our next horde night. So that's going to be fun. I'd completely forgot about that. Yeah, I think I may move the plants more down this way. Actually, I can have some steps going up. Ooh, I can make it that pretty. Uh, food, 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 food. Drinks, drinks, drinks. And where did I put the cloth? You're going to get wrecked, Reese. Shut up. In fact, Reese, come play. Reese does play Seven Days to Die when he's not on Rust, getting his raid bait. Uh, his raid based. Is base raided. Nah, on Rust, Matt. I know you are. I just said that. You're going to get raided and lose all your crap. Oh, some stew. Oh. Stew. Don't get me wrong. It's not the best food, like, but... I've only just realised that my chat comes up where all my buffs go. It's a slight problem, I guess, but we'll just eat two of those. And food can go in there. Oh, oh, is it, Reese? Oh. <laughs> oh. Are you excited? Are you looking forward to it? Hey. Right, I'm going to chop one more of these out. Get your final words in, because we're going after this. I need to chop that bit out as well. Isn't that wood, though? Nope. That's got 10... Oh! I just wish that I had the um, the map 
saved on my computer. But Brittany hosted it, so she's got to send it to me, which we're just not fussed about anymore. The base is ridiculous, Reese. You don't even understand. You cannot comprehend the scale of mine and Brittany's new base. It's a mammoth bunker. It's ridiculous. I tell you what, I do want to build like a massive underground bunker base and see how well that works out. But I don't know how what you'd uh, defend that. <clears throat> it does seem like it'd be quite the problem. And I'm definitely not doing it on this playthrough. If anything, this playthrough is going to go further and further up. And then I just need an escape route to get myself down. If all goes to pot. You know what? No. My forest. My beautiful forest. <clears throat> I'm going to chop these out. And then we're going to call it quits. Because by that point it's going to be about half eight. What uh, what Rust server do you play on nowadays, Reese? Are you on Rustified still? You did a spell where you were just server hopping. Dung, dung. Rustopia EU medium. Fair enough. I have been tempted to come on Rust, but again, I, I still don't like the idea of like losing everything that I've worked so hard to do. It just seems silly. Nothing against the game, Rust. It is a dead fun game still. Although it does add to the uh, the adrenaline of it, but again, this is where I just enjoy watching the YouTubers that I watch play it. They're so much better with the guns, because I've just got awful with them. Well, I don't think I'll be chopping that out and that out until I get a goddamn steel pick. It just takes way too long. And just so you know, them blocks are the ones that I was on about earlier that turn into concrete blocks underneath with another 5,000 health. So one of them blocks has got 15,000 health. Just so you know, you can't actually build blocks with 15,000 health. The best you can do is a steel block. I think it has 6,000 or 7,500 health. But still, destroyers kind of make light work of them. When, you know, there's like three of them. Yeah, you say radioactives are going to just... Oh, radioactive destroyers. I don't even think they're a thing. I hope they're not a thing, because that seems terrifying. Radioactive destroyers. It's alright, I've got a rocket launcher. <laughs> One of them comes in. I just get the HE rounds out. Fire in the hole. Dude gets battered. Ting, ting, ting. And this is about how fun mining is, Adam. Just in case you wondered. Apart from you hit a different resource. And that is all the vents taken out. Thank God. God for that. Like I say, I've just got this to take out. So what have we got? 30, 60, 90, 180, 210, 240. There's like 240,000 health worth of blocks there. Plus this as well. You see why I want a steel pick? Huh? You see why I want a steel pick? Uh, yeah, and I need to decide on more of a colour scheme, so I will be saving the dyes from this point on and scrapping them down into paint. But, as mentioned, that is where we're going to leave today's stream off. So, thank you guys for coming and watching. It's been dead fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching as much as I have playing. If you'd like to check out more stuff that I do, feel free to jump across to the YouTube channel and subscribe, because I do daily videos and all that jazz. So, um, yeah. Go across there, have a look. Feel free to follow on Twitch as well if you want notifications as to when I'm going live. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And there's also the Discord in the uh, bio below. So other than that, I'll see you guys next time. And again, thank you very much for watching. Cheers. Cheers.